But first, a vigil for a 13 year old that died a year ago, turning into tragedy. Hello everyone, I'm Nathalie Pozo. And I'm Stephen Graves. Thank you for joining us for WPBF 25 News at Noon. Police still have not identified the suspect in that hit and run that seriously injured a man last night in Boynton Beach. Our Steve King joins us live from North Federal Highway with the latest on this investigation. Steve. Well, Stephen Nathalie, the vigil last night was for Stanley Davis III, who died a year ago in a dirt bike crash during an attempted traffic stop. Right behind me on North Federal Highway is the memorial set up for Stanley Davis III. Now, our news crew was here last night, and our Ari Height says that as the vigil was wrapping up around 620, there was a loud bang, which turned out to be the crash. Now, after the crash, there was a lot of chaos as people were screaming and running away. Now, police are looking for a white Camaro. They say seriously hurt a man in that hit and run. Police have not shared the identity of the victim or any suspect information as of now, but police say that the victim was doing a Facebook Live right before the crash. Now, the condition of the man who was seriously injured is unknown, but Ari Height does say that he saw that man talking as he was being loaded into the ambulance. Now, again, police are looking for a white Camaro in connection to this crash, so if you have any information about what happened, you are urged to call law enforcement. Reporting live in Boynton Beach, Steve King, WPBF 25 News.